guys, and welcome to another Whitney's Wonders. Got guest star Gail Arsenal today. I'm back. She's back. Now, what we're going to do today is a cook and learn lesson. So, one of my favorite meals growing up that mom used to make was actually breaded pork chops. So, today we're going to show you how we make our breaded pork chops, some carrots, and some mashed potatoes and gravy. But what I also have is another component. I've come up with a list of questions that me and mom are both going to answer while we're cooking and also showing you how to cook. So, um, we're going to get two. We'll start with, you're going to start doing what? Doesn't matter. Potatoes? Yeah, start, we'll start with peeling the potatoes. Am I peeling them in the sink? Yeah, peeling them in the sink. Potatoes and carrots. You sure two's enough? Yeah. Or we'll do the three then. Just two, be three. on the safe side. Kyle's hungry. I'm hungry too. Kyle said he wants two pork chops though. Oh, did he? He's hungry for pork chops. That's one of his favorites, is my bread and Where did you get that peeler? That's a nice one. Uh, probably Walmart. So what we start to do, step one, um, I like to get everything out and ready so as you're cooking that you've got it all. So we're going to do peeling the potatoes for the mashed and peeling the carrots. And then we're going to slice up the carrots really tiny in coins. And then we'll um, heat those up as well. And what we're going to have here is my food processor. Now what I use that for is because the actual breading that I use for the pork chops is just crushed up crackers. Really fi finely crushed up crackers. And I do that in my food processor because it, mom used to do it by hand, but it actually is so much faster. Well, not that it. much faster. It, that was a lot faster than breaking those all up by hand. Now what you also have is a big pan here. Um, I've got the other two started with boiling for the mashed potatoes and carrots. And I've got a big pan here. Just a little bit of oil. Because you're just going to put a little bit of oil in the pan. Once it's really hot, you'll throw the breaded pork chops in and cook. I'll throw some of this in here now because I'm going to heat that up while well, things are cooking. So just enough to coat it. camera here. I got a whole bunch of questions that I uh, wrote out here. Okay, you paying attention? Is the camera going? Yes. Oh. Why would I it didn't know. That's the point of the video. Oh, yeah. Well, you said we're going off camera. No, I just had to go off camera to grab the questions. Oh. Okay. So, question you answer first. Snuggles, please don't hit that because you're going to make the camera go funny. What was the last show you binge watched? This is us. Oh, is that all done now that season? No, they got one more coming. No, but I mean the season that just played, that's all done on the TV now? No, there's still one more to start in September or October. No, I don't mean season. I mean from last season, all those episodes. Oh, yeah, there. yeah, I watched them. Okay, good. So the last one I binged watched was uh, The Good Doctor. No, I watched Seinfeld my whole life. Uh, the Good Doctor, I just finished season four of that. It was very good. They actually had an episode that dealt with ankylosing spondylitis, which is what I have. So it was very cool to see that represented in a TV show. So we'll do one more question, and then we'll move on to cutting the carrots. I'll show them how we do it into little chunks. Sure, we got enough carrots. Oh yeah, we got enough carrots. Kyle won't even barely eat any of those. Kyle is picky with his hey, vegetables. Give me a knife. I'll cut them. Okay, so we're, do you want to get the cutting board out from over there? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What knife do you want to use? We we'll use this big one. she's doing over here we just cut them into small coins for the carrots and those just go into the boiling water you can steam them as well if you want no steam and I don't do it so steam carrots are just as are they? it cooks at the same as boiling them and it keeps all the nutrients in Wait, how like how say, do you want to answer the question too dear how's that good yeah that's good well, we're dropping them though you've got a lot though I'm dropping well, yeah that's enough trust me it's enough okay so next question ma what is your favorite way? Okay, never mind. This pretend you still work. I retired. I know, but pretend you do because every day is a day off for you. Well, I work hard, but I'm retired anyway. <laughs> what is your favorite way to spend the day off? Um, I don't know. I don't. I just. I like to have a movie day. 
movie day? Yeah, they all have a movie day. Yeah. That's it? That's it? You just spend the whole day watching movies? Well, if I have a day off, but I do house cleaning and everything else all the time. I'd say mine's pretty much the same. Favorite day is, favorite way to spend the day off is to uh, watch Oh, I'm reading, TV. too. I've got a new novel, Randy Kravitz. My Uncle Dave gave it to me. Oh, that's and I'm, cool. And I'm enjoying it. I'd say the same. I like to read. Do you? I and never used to like to read when I worked because I read so much at work. Okay, those are done. Do you want me to do the page now? Yeah. How small am I cutting them up with? I'm um, fairly small. We'll cut them up fairly small. Okay. Well, we need the little one, too, for the gravy. Little what, pin? Um, maybe I should do that first because that burger doesn't work. How long does the gravy take? I'm going to do the gravy first, actually. Take this one off. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Don't go near the stove for a second. What? It's hot. It's hot. Gravy, then we can just heat it up in the microwave towards the end. Oh, is that what you're going to do? Yeah. But I'll cut my fingers off on these. No, you won't. So this is the only thing that we're not making from scratch, obviously, is the homemade, homemade store-bought gravy. But you know what? That actually, that gravy tastes good. It does. You just put one cup of water in with that, and she cooks pretty good with that, so... That's easy, but I'll do that first. Dude, they have a little line in them, eh? What's that from? I don't know. Okay. Stir that up. I'm gonna put that on here for now. It's already heated up, so that's Should we be good. putting those carrots in so I can start cutting the potatoes? Yeah, you can put the carrots in there, yeah. I'm gonna heat up the gravy first, though. Where's the carrots going? My mother cooked a lot when I was a kid, eh? Yeah. Did you watch me cook? Yeah, you cooked all the time. But did you watch me? Sometimes we did, didn't we? I don't know, you remember more than I would. Did I watch you? Mm, yeah, sometimes. I used to cook. Well, a lot of times, too, I'd get the prep work done on my days off when you guys were at school. Are you sure that's enough carrots? Yeah, that's enough carrots. You're going to have lots of potatoes, too. Oh, yeah, that's way enough. I'm going to cut the potatoes smaller, then, so they'll cook faster, okay? We'll put the potatoes right in there, because those are going to take the longest. Yeah, but I'm cutting them. Look how small I'm cutting them. Yeah, cut them small. So as you can see, now we've peeled the potatoes, and Mom's just cutting them really fine. I am i don't know if I have to explain how to make mashed potatoes, but if you don't know how to make mashed potatoes, this is what you do. You cut them up real fine, boil them in, in heated water. Well, you don't have to cut them up real fine. You don't have to, but it, it cooks cook them quicker. faster. Yeah, cook quicker. Okay, next question. Shadow, you almost tripped me. He's got to be right well, down there. Yeah, but he's just sitting there. Oh, he's over. I know, but he's got to be right in my walking area. Um, what are three things that you think about the most each day? Be in here, actually. What does that mean? Well, just being alive. Okay, so that's one. And what's my meal prep for the day? Okay. And spending time with my little Izzy. Oh, that's good. And Izzy is my cat. Well, I don't. We oh, sorry. Yeah, Izzy's my little. Well, the video. She's now. my little girl that I adopted three years ago. She was a feral cat. Yes. We won't tell you how she got her. <laughs> why would? Why can't we tell that story, Mom? Because. <laughs> I just teased her. She's a feral cat, and I love her. Um. So the three things I think about most in a day, I'd probably say the kitties. Yep. My three kitties, too, at home. Most days, daddy -o. Yeah, I figured you did. Um, and probably what I'm going to watch on TV when I get off work at the end of the night. My TV schedule that I really like. Are you putting salt in with your potatoes? Yeah, we will. I cleaned all my cupboards, so it's all nice, eh? Nice. Put a little bit of salt in the water. You put it in your carrots, too? Um, you yeah, you can, but the carrots aren't on right now. They actually say to put salt in the water so it boils faster. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I think about my husband every day, too, yes. That's good call, Kyle. Good call. I'm glad you came out of the sidelines for that one. Where was he? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> he hears all, apparently. I didn't even know he was up here for a second. I thought he was And his nice mother-in-law brought him a beer. Mom, you got to empty 
see the water in that. It's what overflowing. Mean? Well, you put too much in then. I know, but did you not see that when you were doing no, it? No, I didn't. Pour it out a little of the sink. Don't mind this, ladies and gentlemen. We got a bit of a technical difficulty right here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Is that good? Yeah, that should be good. Leave it like that, yeah. Might want to wipe around there so the water doesn't. Well, I gotta wipe up the floor. Yeah, that's fine. You can wipe up the floor. Can I just pick that up? Yeah. Well, that was hard moving that, right? Because it was so full. Yeah, it is. It was very full. I did, we had more potatoes than that. Okay, so we answered that question. Okay, so next steps. We've got everything peeled and ready. So the potatoes. Hold on, I gotta wash my hands. Yeah. The potatoes will let heat up. Do you, you don't put the lid on them, eh? They cook faster. I don't. Especially when I gotta do this gravy first and everything, so. Oh, okay. I'm actually gonna do the whisk instead. This thing isn't doing it very good. Yeah, the whisk is very good. That's why I would use the whisk. Okay, now do you want me to throw those potato peels and carrot peels in the garbage? Yes, yeah, that can all go out. Look at my little handy whisk. There we go. We'll let that gravy. When you're cooking the gravy in a package, just let it boil. Let it reduce heat and let it kind of simmer there. Oh, and I still got a carrot. I didn't realize. Well, we, yeah, okay. Well, you've already cut it up. You might as well go with it. Because then we'll make room and we'll show people how to bread the pork chops. Okay, you ready for the next question? Hold on, wait till I get my carrot. Okay. I thought there was. Oh, look at her going. She's master chef. She's cutting the carrots right into there, ladies and gentlemen. Be careful if you do that with your fingers. You don't want to cut them off. <laughs> I never cut my fingers off in all these years. I shouldn't say that. That's what dad did. Why? What do you do? Cut his finger off. Dad. Oh, grandpa? Yeah. yeah, but that wasn't from cooking. No, not from cooking. Okay, so I'll put these. Now, how much should I put them on the thing to take them over to the garbage? Yeah, put them on that because then we're going to get them out of this area, all the dirty. Well, I like my area organized, just keeping it clean. That's what I'm saying. So that's why we're doing this first before we move on to the next step, which is ready. Spreading the pork chops and getting them ready. Okay, let's take this over to the garbage. There we go. Look right. at Shadow, he's being such a good little boy. Oh, well, he's always a good little boy in your eyes, though. He can do no wrong. Uh, he is a good little boy. Now, are you washing this or what we did this? Yeah, just we're going to put it to the side for now. And out of the way, so don't worry about that oh, for now. Yeah. Nope. Okay. So that's done. What now? So now, you, were, you got the gravy cooking already? Well, yeah, because I don't have enough. I already explained that. You weren't paying attention. What? I only have three burners. So this we're just going to put in a bowl after it's done, and you just reheat it. Oh, got it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the carrots aren't going to cook until I put them on this burner. Oh, this burner don't work? No, it does not. Okay, that's right. Oh, and then we can just put that in, the, in a bowl, and we heat it up when it's ready. Okay. So, what now? Before we answer the question... Oh, what's the question? Oh, hold on. Before we answer the question. So, the next I've part. I've got me and my son-in-law. You can't have that on YouTube. Get out of here. Oh, can you? You can't advertise alcohol on YouTube. I don't want to get demonetized with my very expensive channel. Oh, okay. I, you don't, how many guests do you have? Well, it doesn't matter. I just don't want beer shown on YouTube. because well, I, like I brought one over for me and Kyle. I get that, but just in case. YouTube has a lot of. Hello, everybody. YouTube has a lot of rules and stuff, so oh, I don't want to break the rules. Now, this is getting thick, quick. Okay, just wait. I know, just wait. Now what we're going to do is just turn that down and let it simmer. Okay. So the next part is, what we have here is some nice chops. We've got a lot of them. So now what you do, will you get some paper towel, Mom? Sure can. Paper towel or paper towel? towel? Paper towel. You'll see what I'm doing. Okay. How many? Uh, just two. Two? Yeah. Is this all we got for paper towel or no? no we got one. Oh, you keep them together? Well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't strangle me. Okay, okay so now I'm going to wash my hands at the sink, which I normally don't do because I don't like people washing their yeah, hands. Yeah, you always give me heck when I do that. Okay. Oh, yeah, that gravy's getting quite thick with. Yeah, we're just going to leave it there. So now what we can do with the gravy, mm -hmm. we'll leave it off here. And then just let it cook slowly. And then we'll let so it this one doesn't work? No, it doesn't. Can't you get it fixed? Uh, probably not. Not worth it. It's probably cheaper to buy a new stove. Really? But I don't, this, like, when I do a night like this, it's not a big deal. Yeah. I only have three. Yeah. I only cook for me and Kyle. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Well, there's not huge. So we just let, we'll let that simmer. These are taking quite a while. Should they're going to take a while. while. Should you be turning them on? Well, they're at eight already. Oh, you're you're at eight? Eight? Okay. 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 Now, the 
the secret. So you don't need all of this? I'm in a case of knife power. You're in the way of... <laughs> Can we focus on one thing at a time? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, what do you want me Thank to do? You. Just stand there like that, because after we get this started, we're going to answer more questions. Okay, guys. So, the secret when you're breading any meats for stuff like this, too, is what we do is you're going to pat the pork chops in case there's any extra water on them, right? So, yeah. Now, what you do after that is take the pork chop, you put it in the flour. They probably can't see that very good on the video, but that's okay. So, you put it in the flour. Should we move the video? No, it's okay. Okay. We can semi see. Okay, so what we're going to do... We're not starting to cook them yet, are we? Nope. Okay. What we're going to do is get the food processor out and put our ground up crackers. So I like to do like a little assembly oh, line. Oh, they have a nice how they come out, eh? Yeah, they do come out good. Wow, so that's like... Go over with the... Uh, over here? Dishes to wash. Yep. To wash like that. And this. What's this thing? That's cod with goose coffee. Okay, so I like to have a little assembly line here. Mm -hmm. So, and we'll get another plate. Chops on after the bread. Gotcha, gotcha. So you put the chop in the flour. I can't. We can't see the camera though. Okay. It can. It can kind of see us going down there. It'll sure. see okay. us going down the line. Then you put the chop in the egg wash, right? Like so. Right. Let's soak in. And then you put the ch chop in the batter. Now, how do you know you had enough of the breading? If you don't have enough, you just bread some more up, right? Well, so now you can do this, and we'll start just going on the assembly line. How now, many are we doing? We're going to do four chops, because me and you are going to have one each. Yeah. And then Kyle's going to have two. And oh, they're nice. What kind are they? Um, I, they are. What but you know what? what? I've never done them in the flour chops. first. They are pork loin center rib and sirloin chops. Oh, wow, they're nice. I've never done them in the flour. I think that's Everything a good idea. Everything chicken. When you're doing chicken. But I've never done that. You should. Because it has, it, then the egg wash sticks better. Okay. And then the breading sticks okay. really good. Now, are you ready? Yeah, so you go on to the next one. You can leave that even in the egg okay. wash thing, okay. yeah. Okay. So there's one. So we need to do four? Four, yeah. Shaddy looking around. He knows he probably smells the chops. Does he? And then you just coat the whole chop. Make sure it's all breaded. Yep. Two. Oh, that's a nice big one, that. How so many you got like, left? Two? So it looks like we might have to do another egg here. Or you you want to get another? Yeah, you want to get another egg? Yeah. And then you can take these home. You sure? Oh, yeah. Not like, I'm not taking them home without paying thing. No, you're not going to take them. We'll pack them up. Yeah, and then I can, you know what I will do tomorrow? What? I'll make myself, I'll throw it in the crock pot and, my, and cook them in with some mushroom <laughs> soup. There you go. Okay. And then we just, what do we do here? So now you're just going to crack that egg into there. Is this all you got for eggs? No, I got a whole other pack. That's not a very important question for the video. No, no, okay. Now you can put those back. Throw these in the garbage. I have nothing worse than leaving eggs in, inside the container. I fucking hate it. Good excited. thing you don't live here. What? It's a good thing you don't live here. Why? Because I always do. Yeah. Does not bug you though? No. <laughs> okay. So we got all, I can put this back? Yep. So that can go back now. Oh, you got another card to make there. So that can go over in the dirty pile. Yeah, huh? yeah. Now we're going to finish coating this pork chop. So yeah, it looks like one two one egg does about two pork chops for the egg wash. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Okay, so you can start doing the egg wash on that one. I don't know about the, how to do the egg wash. You just put it in there and go back. Because I'm used to doing them without the flour. Yeah, and then you, you just put it like that. that? Yeah. So then there's two left? How's that good? That's good, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Is this done? Garbage? Yep. Yeah. Now you can pour that flour back if the I don't really even use it because No. Before it you is probably not good once no, you No, because you got meat. Up. So is this going in the garbage? Yeah, just wait. I'll show you a trick I do so that it all goes in the garbage at one point. Mm. Yeah, no, you never use that flour. Well, not when you're doing it with meat. Have you done that before and used it? No. Use? Okay. I always throw out everything. Yeah. In, in this case I went to, I agree with you. That's why your pork chops are so good, though. Do you put salt and pepper on them, too? I don't, actually. Oh, yeah. No, because then you put the gravy on them. Like, if I was just eating them like that, you would probably, you would salt and pepper them while they're there, right? Mm -hmm. But then Kyle, he likes to just pour gravy on his, so he puts salt and pepper on after it's done cooking. So what I do, 
So should I be doing these dishes? You can put whatever spice you want on your pork chops. I'm just showing you the way I make them. And yours were good. Yes. Shredded pork chops are very good. Do you want me to put water in there? No, because we're going to have to drain the potatoes and stuff, so there's no point of putting water in the sink yet. Okay, I'm just trying to clean up here. I know, I'm just telling you the the way. We can rinse them off, though, the plates. are breaded and they're ready to go into the pan and they look lovely they look lovely they look lovely you're correct so now I'm just going to start heating the pan now on low so that the um, oil gets a chance to heat up in there it's real hot actually by the time because how long do we have those potatoes on 10 minutes but this isn't going to cook it's here anymore is it no we're going to reheat it in the bowl when dinner's ready well I don't want to make it too thick then Okay, so where are we going to put these? I'm going to put it over there. Can I put it over there by the potatoes and I'll get a bit of heat? Yep. Okay, so those chops can be wrapped up. Okay, so let me ask you another question, okay? What? Yep, sure. Okay. If you could go back in time, what year would you travel to? I would travel to 1965. Because I was five years old then, and my parents were No, parents. no, like say you wanted to travel back oh, in go time. back? As right now, like at your age right now. Oh, I would go back to when I was 20. No, what year though? Like you're going back oh, to a oh, year at your age right okay. now. Well, okay. then I would go back to 19... I didn't think I'd have 80. to... 80. I didn't think I'd have to explain this question. That's so no, but I didn't know what you were getting at. 1980, I'd go back to when I was 20 years old. No, you're not going back to an age. Your, your age right now... What decade or year would you like to go back to as your age right now? Oh. I personally would love to go back to the 1950s and 60s. As but you weren't even old. allowed in the 50s. You weren't alive. I God, that's not the point of the question. If I could go back to any year. Oh yeah. I probably year. I think I not go back. as an age. Just I think I'd go back to the 60s. 60s. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, you know what? You're yeah. too much. You are too much. <laughs> Well, I didn't know your question. I wasn't yes. sure what I would say the 50s or 60s as well. I love Even though music. I didn't live in the 50s, Even but mom yes. said time for easy. That's what I mean. And then the, the, the clothing and the music. I still love that now. That's my what? favorite genre of music. Yeah. Oh, like, I actually today I heard the song. It was by the, oh, what a beautiful song. What the heck was it called? Watch Shadow. He's right behind us. I, I He's going to trip us now. I see. He won't trip. Okay, those potatoes look like they're going to overflow again. Are they? should be going good soon. And then I got the carrots heating up good. They're not going to overflow it. They're not cooked though. Okay, so next question. We can't put these uh, meats on yet. <laughs> no, not, that's heating up anyway. I got the oil heating up, so it's going to heat up. We want to heat it up really hot so that they sizzle when they go in the pan. That's the trick. If you put your pork chops in before the actual um, oil, oil doesn't sizzle, yeah. they're going to be soggy. They're going to yes. be gross. Exactly. I've learned that hard. Exactly. Back so you need to have them. The oil real it hot. It feels like there's water over here. What? It's probably from things overflowing. It's good. Okay. So next question. If you were ruler of your own country, what would be the first law you would introduce? Um, the first law? Yeah. I don't know. You want to know what my answer would be? What? My first law is that well, I was going to say everybody should get along, but that should just be a common sense yeah, law. But it, ain't, it ain't a law. My first law would be that definitely something to do with animals. Oh, and yeah. it would be heavier punishments for people, for being people who abuse animals. That yes. would be my first law. That's my personal law because of my animals and I love animals. And I feel like people who abuse animals get away with it too much. And there's not harsh enough. And they're such cute them. little creatures, aren't they? Tata, what would your first law be? Not to abuse animals. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Uh, get out the kitchen, please. You're gonna trip on He's no, we're not gonna trip on him. He's good. He's good. Hey, Shad, yeah. you go, boy. I just want to see how those are gonna do. So it. another question. Yeah, now it's just kind of a waiting game. That's what that is. Because yeah. we gotta wait. And then we'll test it. Now what I do to test my oil, everybody else might be different, but I just take a little bit of breading off the pork chop, throw it in. And if it sizzles, oh, you do you? Ready to go That's ahead. a good idea. I never thought of that. Okay. Yeah, see what see how much thicker much more gravy we got doing that? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So question. Would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job? I'd say work at the perfect job. Really, eh? I'd rather win the I lottery. don't care about winning money. Money doesn't bring you happiness. And the perfect job would? I guess so, eh? If it's a perfect job for you. Yeah. You don't really have to do much else. I still want to win the lottery, though. Would you? Um, and then I could work at my job that you yeah, like and, and still you, have extra money. Yeah, I got you. Okay, I got you. Gotcha. Yeah. See, it's easy for me to say that now because I've got no debt because I've paid my house off and everything, right? Yeah. So it's a, it's a tough question. I would love to work at a perfect Like everybody, I wish everybody had the chance to work at the perfect job and what they love doing, but that's not the reality of the world. No, it is not. It is not. Oh, these carrots are really going down. Good. I hope you guys know. Okay, next question. What did you want to be when you were small? Oh, I wanted to be I wanted to be an actress. An actress, eh? And Al actually said I missed my calling. Who? Al. Uncle Al? Yeah. Nobody knows who Al is. Okay, Al's Al. my brother, and he said I missed my calling. Because we were coming home from a celebration of life yesterday for carding. And Al said he's amazed at how I can bring my tears on so quick. Well, and then shut them anybody who knows you knows that one. <laughs> I don't know if that's actress or just your old. I'd say that's actress. Mental. That's actress. What I want it to be? Trey, was, please, Scarlett, I don't give okay, a damn. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> what I wanted to be was a marine biologist. Did you really? Don't you remember my obsession with sharks? Yeah, yeah but I didn't know you wanted I to be a marine biologist. If I could have done it, I would have. Would you? Yep. Aww. I guess you still could, but uh, I don't want to go through school anymore. No, you're sick of school, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I think they all is too. Okay, next day that's good. good. What celebrity would you like to meet for coffee? Um, what celebrity? Mm-hmm. I'd have to say Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds? I what a him. waste. I love him. I'd like to meet Chef Gordon Ramsay, and I'm sure he'd be very pleased with our cooking skills today. Yes, he would be very, he probably can't cook this good. No, there's no way. There's no way. Okay, we'll do another question. Are you an organ donor, and how did you come to that decision? Oh, I don't know. I haven't. I'm not an organ donor. It's not on your health card. You didn't no, do that. No, I don't think I did. How do you know? I did. I am an organ donor. Are you? And I came to that decision because once I'm dead, if somebody can, if they're even allowed to use my organs, but once I'm dead, if somebody can use them, why not? If you could save a life, if I'm dead anyway, because they take it out and sew you back up, so it doesn't do anything with your physical appearance. No, yeah, that's true. So I figured I'd be an organ donor. Are you? See, I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Alrighty. So, we took a little break there. Mom cleaned up the kitchen quick, because as a rule, you should always clean as you go. It makes it easier at the end for dishes. We'll be packing up the other pork chops, and we're going to continue on. So, our potatoes are pretty much boiled. They're getting there. Carrots are good. So, let me see. That's looking fryy. See, so that's what I do. I throw a little piece in like that, and you see it frying up. Okay. Oh, is that what you do? That's a good idea. I never do that way. Hopefully they all fit in there. I never knew to do that. I don't know if they're all going to fit in there. They won't? We're only going to be able to do three at a time. So we'll do three, and then you set one on top of the other one because it's cooking. Yeah. yeah. We'll do that. Okay. Well, and then we can just let the other one cook while we're eating. Yeah, and Kyle can eat that one as the second one. Okay, whatever you think. Okay. Carrots going, gravy's good, we'll reheat that in there. Do you want to get out the, um, I'll get it out because you don't, I don't know how to describe it. Well, why can't I just put the gravy on the potato pot? And let it finish cooking. Because the potatoes are done, aren't they? Oh yeah, you can if you want. So we got this, so my little handy leather. Oh yeah, they're done with. So that's good. Turn that down a bit though, okay? Turn it down. Here. You can't see. Oh, I can see, but I don't have my reading glasses. We'll go to melt, leave it like that. Now, should I be rinsing these yet or no? Done, you yeah. can because we can start doing the potatoes. Okay. And then those will cook. Okay. Where's that big red thing that we pull, put them oh. into? Over here. Rinse. 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 Rinse.
it's out the water. The strainer? Yeah. I got it. Now you got that still on, right? To put the gravy with? Yeah, I just got it on melt for now. Okay. Keep it warm. Well, will these keep warm? Once we'll put them back on there and keep them warm because the oven's still, when we thought we were going to bake, it's still hot, so we'll just keep oh, it warm. Oh, am I putting it in here? Yeah, you can. I got dishwasher. That's fine, we'll empty it. Okay. Okay. So now when your potatoes are done, you're going to mash them. Now what I got here. Where am I mashing them? Right over there. But shouldn't I get a the wooden thing on? I'm getting everything out for you. I can't put this on the counter with a pan, hot pan. Can I? Oh, on there? Good job. Good job. You asked a lot of questions about it. Well, that's why I'm so smart, right? Well, they said that to me at work. I asked so many questions, that's why I was so smart. Um, well, we're not using this thing? Yeah, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to mash it first. Okay, got it. And then, when you get to that, see that somebody who's cooked for her whole life, I feel like should know that. Yeah, but I never do it with this thing. I just do it with that other thing. It's easier to break them down first. Did they do it? Yes. Now, what we need here is those two things. We need some butter and some milk. So there's those. Saturday night, we're doing some cooking, eh, what? Yep. So we're checking the chops. They're getting a nice golden on them. That's Are good. They? Yeah. Okay. Nice golden. I'm going to leave a bit more on that side before I flip. Okay, is that good enough for this now? I can move on to the other one? Yep. Okay, so mom's mashing. So you can mash, and then I like to whip. And you put a little bit of butter in there, a yeah. little bit of milk. makes a nice creamy mash. Where's the butter? butter? I already brought it all out for you. It's all down there. Oh. Oh, and I love that. I can't believe it's not butter. Well, it's not butter. It's margarine. Do you know what? I, basil, I like basil now, too, right? Yeah. I like basil. Okay. What traits are most important to you and your family members? Being kind. Being kind. Yeah. I would say humor. Because in the world we live in today, yeah, the world we, we need humor. In today, you're right. Yeah, you're right. We yeah. need humor. Yeah, you're absolutely right, but Okay, I'm gonna flip these chops and then we'll get to another question. Oh yeah, they are looking they good. Doing? They're looking good. How's that in carrots doing? Carrots are good too, they're cooking. Those are some big chops. I don't know if Kyle's going to need two. Although he probably will. He likes these. Where'd you get this beater? They were nice. I got mine from like 20 years ago. I believe you gave me that from a Did garage I? sale probably. Probably. Well, I must have bought it at a garage sale because this one's newer than mine. Okay, next question. I'll speak up while you're doing that. What's your most prized possession? Uh, besides my kids? Yeah. We're not my kids. Are, well, you're my yeah, you are my prime possession. But after my kids would be my house. Okay. I'd say my, my most prized possession is my collection of all your things stuff. I have. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, my yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Link to Winnie's Wonders 90s collection video. I'm gonna get through most of these questions before we're done. Oh, this is fitting. What? What's your favorite family recipe? Meatloaf. That and well, pork chop. Yeah. Me love pork chops are my two favorite. My family favorite recipe is what that you and grandma probably make. Is what? Ooh, good question though. Grandma does everything good. Grandma does do everything well. But grandma's do, so that doesn't count. I say maybe oh, I like spaghetti all the time though. Oh, yeah, I like but I'd probably say this is my favorite family meal, the pork chop meal that mom made when we were growing up. When you were growing up? Yeah. And my needle. Didn't you like my needle? Yeah, but your pork chops are better. And so is my spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think this is done, Wayne. I got no love. But I'll keep going for a bit because we got time to go. Now, now, should, I, should I put the lid on these to put them back on the stove just to keep them warm? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, get me the lid open. Just a second, I got another question. What is the best vacation you ever took? Uh, I think the best one was going to Florida, St. Louis, Florida. Okay, when we were little? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the three of us went to Florida. You, you remember it, right? How yeah. much fun it was? Oh, I, that was my, because of you guys. Now, for the sake of Kyle 
sitting in the living room. I'm going to say my favorite vacation was on my honeymoon in Antigua. But my second favorite vacation was going to Cuba with my two cousins, Lindsay and Brandy. Oh, They'll know exactly why animals. it was my favorite. And for them, too. But those two party animals? They're going to see this and they're going to say that I was the real party animal. Oh, shit. How come they're not No swearing. Out? Oh, sorry. How come this doesn't come out? Just leave it for now. We'll do it after. Yeah, well, what? I want to get this on the stove. Yeah, you can. You don't need these to get it on the stove. Yeah, but I'm trying to clean up. Don't worry about it. Shadow is right between our feet, so if you know something, oh, tripping. they look beautiful. Eh? How's our carrots doing? Good. Okay, what's your favorite holiday? Lake George. Lake George. Right, what about like commercial holidays? What do you mean commercial? Halloween, Christmas. Oh, Christmas. You know, Christmas is my favorite. Christmas. I would say Halloween's my favorite, my favorite, but Christmas is a close second. No, my Christmas is my favorite. I love Christmas. because this is all going to be done soon. What is your favorite childhood memory? When I was a kid? Yeah. Um, going to Newfoundland. What did you do there? Oh, my dad took us to Newfoundland. We went on a ferry going over. Oh, it was fun. How old were you? I was you born. 11 or something. Well, that'd be fun. Yeah, it was fun. I've got a lot, but I think my favorite one would be... Probably any summer up at Smith's Bay, like during Oh, yeah. yeah. For me. Yeah. And also for a little one, I remember me and Dylan, like, you know how your house was? And the pool's, like, behind the house? Yeah, yeah. So Dad would go on the other side of the house, and he'd throw a ball, mm -hmm. and me and Dylan would be in the pool, and we didn't know where it was coming from, but whoever got the ball first won that round. Did you give me any money for it? No, oh. no money, but it was just a fun game. So I remember me and Bill always now, doing that. Now, was that when Dad and I were not together then at that point? No, you guys were together, but you always let Dad come Oh, yeah, house, Dad got to come to the house swimming all the time, like a little sticker. Now, I and, well, he watched the dog, too, so... Uh, yeah, he did take care of Ollie. He did take care of Ollie, I will say that. I, I just bugged me with it. Just huh? leave it. Just leave it for now. We'll get it after the video. We don't have time to be worried about that. Okay, what are your pet peeves? Pet peeves? I don't know. I don't have any. My pet peeve is when people don't listen and have to do things that I told them to leave. So who would that be? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. My pet peeve is when people talk with food in their mouths. Oh, yeah. You give me a shit for that. These aren't done. No yet, swearing. Eh? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, these aren't done yet. Do they not feel done? No. They're not done yet. Oh, we're going to need to butter out for them, too, and some salt and pepper. All right. I'm going to turn these down now. Where would you put your salt and pepper with? Stuff in where it always is. Oh, they look good. So you can put that fourth one on, maybe. Not right now, will we? Why? You sure? Yeah. We're trying to get hungry. We'll have to. Well, then we'll cook it later, Farm. Yeah, but. Why? You think there's, there's no room in there for another one? Too much. Move shadow, please. Move shadow, please. Oh my god, I figured that oh, out. You're something else. I nice. figured it out. I'm so smart. I am so smart with it. Well, those should be pretty close to done, are they? The carrots? Everything. Let me see the carrots. Oh, yeah. The and then carrots. are we going to say thank you for another wicked wonder at the end? Yeah, we can at the end, yeah. Dad, what are you doing? Turn here? everything off because okay. it's pretty much done. We're going to answer our last question, though. I got one. Hey, why was the last question? question? I don't know. Let's see. Favorite board game? Monopoly. Monopoly? Monopoly, yeah. We used to play that when I was a kid all the time. Did you like it? I like Monopoly. What I was your favorite? Say Clue. I like Clue the best. Yeah, you do like that. It makes you think. But the Monopoly really fun. was fun. Monopoly was fun. Okay. We used to play Monopoly for hours. That can go away, right? No, because we need it for the carrots. Oh, yeah, we need it for the carrots. We're going to put it over here. Why? And then the salt and pepper over there. Oh. But i got to drain that water, too, eh? Yeah. This is dry. Now. Why are you going to drain the carrots with that, too? I use that. Oh, yeah. Work. Okay, do you? Yeah. Yeah, since you don't want me getting the lid out. Well, you can. Get all no, the lid We'll use that thing. We'll use that thing. I want to see how our gravy's doing. Now, you turned off our gravy, wet. Yeah, just because it's done. Everything's done. Where are we eating? Uh, we can eat at the table. Oh, good. Can we? Yeah, I like Family it. dinner. Family dinner. Family dinner! Whitney's Wonders. Okay. Wow. So, were those some good questions or not? Very good. We're I have to make them all up. 
I just got them off the internet. Oh, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I thought you thought of them yourself. Okay, so now what we're going to do, yeah, we're done with that. A couple more. Of them. And now to sum it up, what we have here, we've done our mashed potatoes, and we showed you how to make mashed Are potatoes. Are we going to put our plates on the table after? Yeah, we're going to show it. We'll show the family dinner setup. Okay. okay. So we got our mashed potatoes, showed you how to do those. Carrots. Now, what do you add to your carrots after the? I put a bit of salt and pepper and some butter. And some butter. Didn't you used to put brown sugar or something in them too? No, I do brown sugar and turnip. Turnip, okay. And then we got our pork chops. We showed you how to coat those, and then you kind of semi got to watch them, but you'll see how they look afterwards and how golden brown they are. Oh yeah. And I think that's everything. And then the gravy is the package gravy. You just follow that on the package, really. So that's a pork chop dinner. So stay tuned. We'll show you the setup of the family dinner table and what the meal looks like. And here's the final re recipe completed for breaded pork chops, mashed potatoes, and some carrots. And then we'll throw some gravy on the potatoes. And Kyle likes some on his pork chop. And here it is with all the gravy on it. Bon appetit, Saturday night. Bye, Bye Wendy's Wonders. Wonders.